pretty awesome. What's going on guys, it's Big Cat, Big Cat Outdoors. And I just got off work on this Friday and just got home. And uh, it's kind of gonna be a wild weekend. It's a Labor Day weekend, so I got Monday off of work, but I was gonna hunt um, opening day of uh, North Alabama's dove season, that's tomorrow. Um, so today's September 3rd. I was gonna hunt that, well I'm actually gonna go to Tennessee because I gotta work on my farm in North Georgia. So I'm actually gonna dove hunt in Tennessee tomorrow morning and tomorrow evening. Their opener was September 1st, so last Wednesday. So I don't know how many birds are gonna be left on those public land fields, but I'm gonna go and me and my buddy are gonna jump in one that we've never been to and kind of just hunt on the fly, check a bunch of fields midday and see if we can find anyone that's hot. We might kill some birds, might not. I'm gonna bring y'all along. And then the following day, uh, me and my dad and my buddy Matt, who I'm gonna be hunting with in the morning, we gotta go to my farm, check trail cameras, um, put some more corn out and get ready for that because that opening day of George's bow season is September 11th, which is the following weekend. And I'm actually not gonna be hunting on the opening day because I actually have a bass tournament I've already paid for. I'm fishing a tournament trail, Chattanooga Bass Association. So I've got to fish a tournament uh, September 11th and then the September 12th, that Sunday, I will be in a bow stand. Hopefully I'll have the camera rolling, but like I said before, my last video, if I haven't checked it out, check it out. It's about how and why um, I started a YouTube channel and who I am and what's my purpose of this. And, um, but hopefully I'll bring the GoPro along for some deer hunts because I've never filmed any deer hunts before because I have a GoPro and that's what I roll with and can't really zoom in on the deer and everything, but come on, Sassy, let's go inside. Come on. So, um, I've never really filmed any deer hunts with it, but it's going to be a wild ride. I just got home from Montgomery from work because I work in downtown Montgomery. I live in Troy, Alabama. So I just got home and I'm about to go work out because I need a pump. Um, and then I got to come back, shower, put all my hunting stuff together, pack it all up for the first hunting trip of the year, pack a whole bunch of stuff up and, um, yeah, hit the road and then pretty much drive four and a half hours. Um, the time I get there, literally get my buddy's going to pick me up from my parents' house, get in his truck, drive another 45 minutes to a a top sowed wheat field that I don't know if there's any dove on, but it's a public field. Um, and hopefully kill a few, see a few, and then kind of go looking around at different public land fields in East Tennessee and hopefully find a hot one. You never know, could be terrible, could be good, could not kill any. I don't know, but at least it's hunting season. We're gonna be hunting and uh, y'all are gonna be along for the ride. Guys, I don't know if you can see me or not, but I got the truck packed, got sassy. She's all got her dog bed. She's chilling. Then I got the truck packed up. You know, the regulars got to have a cooler full of drinks. And then that's my dove bucket. It's just a Yeti bucket, my dove stool, me sassy. So I got the truck all packed up. It is 10:30 something, and uh, we're about to get on the road. I guess y'all. I'll see y'all in the morning when we, uh, me and Matt, meet up and we hit the dove field. Don't let me blind you. All right, it is, is it 5.30 or 4.30? It's 5.30. It's 5.30? Okay, it's 5.30 in the morning. I have not been to sleep. I got into Chattanooga, or got to my parents' house in Chattanooga at 4.10. Matt picked me up at 4.30. So literally got to dust myself off, took a little walk around the house, stretched the legs, and I got back in the truck. Me and Matt are headed to a public land dove field that we have never been to. We're in the middle of nowhere right now. So we're trying, we're trying to find the field. And I, it's supposed to be a 40 acre field, but I guess we'll, I don't know where we're gonna set up at. I guess I brought a headlamp and we're just gonna blind set up and I've looked at it on Onyx and hopefully we see a bird and then we'll go to another field this evening or if this one's good, we'll hunt here. But I, I guess we're just hoping for blind luck. <laughs> we're hoping. Hey, even if we don't kill any, this is a beautiful field. Found us a spot on this beautiful field. Got some silos behind us. Fence row on this farm. Public land. We don't, we're sitting by a hay bale. I don't know if you can see me yet. Post up on this hay bale. There's some dirt and stuff. We got my mojo out there. But look at this view. We might not kill a dove because we're just out here 
brand new field never even seen before. I mean, literally had to find a spot in the dark, but. We're on a mountaintop in Tennessee looking at a beautiful sunrise. Hunting season's back. Uh, right now, I don't even care if we kill any. It's just, I'm so happy to be back. Look at this. That's what it's all about. Got my main man, Matt, over there. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we see a few. We got one, boys and girls. We are not skunked. Come right in at us. Dude, I'm talking. I turned my head to the left, and he was smoking right at us. Well, that couldn't have worked out any better. Who hit him? I have no idea. I shot once and I saw feathers and I think you knocked him down. My gun was on the hay bale and when I turned and I said, Matt, Matt, Matt. That bird, did you notice something? That dove, it's a young bird because when he was flying, he didn't even look like he had a tail. Right. Yeah. Little young bird, we got him. Hey. Hey. Not skunk today, boys. Double tap Sally on him. Double tap Sally, how you doing? Number two, coming in on the mojo. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, they all shot at him, he come back and landed. <laughs> Mojo probably been out there. Dude, the mojo's hot right now. Hey, how's the golfer today? <laughs> <laughs> We've got two. Successful day, boys and girls. Let's go home. <laughs> Pack it up. Time for breakfast. Well, me and Matt are just leaned up against this hay bale. As you can see, we got just in a big little farm, hay bales and stuff silos and most of the people are down here on the other side in that valley they've been shooting quite a bit we've only shot at two dove and we've killed both of them so shooting percentage is high we're not burning the barrel down got the mojo out there and matt here they come matt here they come see them there's see them they're behind the silos i don't know where they went there's one right there matt see it see it I don't know where they went. Dang. Dang. I thought they were going to come at us. But most of the dove are flying that valley on over that other side. Um, and we'd never been here before, so we didn't know kind of their fly route. But we've had, we've shot at two dove and we've killed two. So it's a fun morning and seen a bunch of geese. All right. It is 11.39. Still without zero sleep. We killed two dove this morning. Saw three geese get murdered with lead shot on a dove field. And then the game wardens were graciously enough to uh, give us the three geese, I guess, for evidence from my GoPro. Uh, somebody called in. We watched, I mean, we had like four groups of geese come over us. They get right in the middle of the dove field and then somebody would shoot. We saw three geese die. Game warden come in because he got a call, someone shooting geese on a dove field, checked everybody, and then we told him, like, hey, look, we've seen three geese die by these individuals. Um, she even watched the footage and was like, wow. So then they ended up, we were leaving, and so we we're going to get lunch, go to another field, and they, my buddy Matt, he was like, hey, what are y'all do with the geese? He was like, I wish we could get somebody to take them. So we took them, just skinned them out, put them in the freezer, and now we're going to go get lunch, go to another dove field. So killed two, need uh, 28 more. <laughs> Me and Matt changed fields, went and ate lunch, changed fields. It's 320, and then we've shot a double. He shot one, two came in, he shot one, and I shot one. So, beautiful little field out here. And uh, so it's 320, we've got two. So total for the day, we've got four, and the goal for me and Matt today was two. <laughs> so we like to keep the standards low, you know, so we might have a chance to pass them. Shooting's been pretty good today, though. We've shot at four yeah four out of six dove we've shot it we've killed pretty good odds but it's 320 and already killed one so that's what i'm talking about 
I apologize for the lack of shooting footage because the dove flying really quick, but Matt killed another one. One shot, one kill. Our shooting record is up to, what is it? Five out of, five out of seven. seven. Five out of seven dove we've shot out to kills. Five out of seven. That was perfect. That come Smoke City, baby. Okay, beautiful. Beautifully. What's happening, guys? It's the next day. So me and Matt shot a dove yesterday, as y'all saw. We ended up killing eight total, uh, two from the first with field, and then we shot six um, in the one yesterday evening. But it was kind of tough just because we only saw about 20 dove yesterday evening. But the ones that flew by us, we pretty much killed. We shot two doubles yesterday, so it was fun. I mean, pretty slow hunting, like 13 hours in the field, and we kill eight. But public land, it is what it is. But today, we we're on my farm. Matt's still with me. And we're on a farm in Georgia. Georgia's bow season opens up next Saturday. So we got corn and we got to go check three cameras. And then we're going to put out corn and see what the cameras say and everything and change up batteries. I'm going to move some cameras too, just around the farm to try to find some new spots. And it's, this is 186 acres. Um, we're going to do some scouting, do some trail cam, looking at some trail cam pictures and seeing if we need to move them or what bucks we got on camera. I haven't hunted this in three years. So hopefully uh, we'll get some good bucks on camera and maybe kill one next weekend. Matt, what do you guys say? I'm ready to start gigging some deer. <laughs> the old gym field. Used to be an old Boy Scout camp. Still got the old tower, outhouse, and then a little gymnasium. Doing a little bush hogging. All right, just got to my first camera location and refreshing the corn pile all the corn was gone I had it's been up I think camera been up for like two and a half maybe three weeks had 538 photos and just put a peanut block and some corn um, and I just I pulled the camera and uh, and I marked this tree about 20 22 yards away something like that I just marked this tree with some bright eyes got a good shot got some cover I've killed three deer. I've killed three does with my bow out of that exact tree. So that tree's always been good. I just ate a spider, so that's good. Walked right through that web. That tree's always been pretty good. Now we're gonna go check my, go check the other camera. Got a pretty good walk now to the next spot where old deer feeders come to die. In the hills of Georgia, a little spring fed creek coming out to our lake. <laughs> no, I just want to be hidden. All right, we just pulled my second camera at this spot. There was no bait here or anything. There was, we put it on some buck crap we had on a really good trail. Um, back on, I walked past the trail, didn't I? Where's the trail at? Yeah, there's the trail comes out right there don't it yeah you can see the trail comes up and it looks like dirt right there we're traveling so I didn't have any bait here and I put the camera I had 22 pictures and then I marked my tree and those little three trees that come up I marked that because I'm gonna climb that right one have some good cover probably about a 20 25 yard shot and we're gonna put the bait right here I think I can climb up and smoke them. Might need a handsaw to trim that damn thing down. Um, see that little bush? Mm -hmm. Might have to do a little trimmage. But I think this is the deal. I'm not gonna hunt this for a while, but I'm, I'm gonna put a camera back up on it. Where's a good tree for a camera? Yeah. Eventually, I should put the bait probably right there then. 
Yeah. Trails right there. Trees right there. Put the bait right here. Right. Yeah, we'll put it right here. You got a knife, cut that bag open. This spot's always been a pretty good spot for me. Um, I've actually never baited on this farm, but now Georgia made it legal to where I can bait. So I don't plan on hunting this spot right off the bat. I just want to see, I'm trying to take an inventory. I haven't hunted this farm in three years. So just trying to take inventory, but this used to be one of my, one of my better spots. Oh, you already hung it up for me. Yeah, we just got to sw switch the SD card. Yeah. So excited. All right, me and Matt got two cameras hung. Uh, two corn piles out. Um, I had 538 pictures on the one that had corn out in front of the camera. And then the one I just checked that it was just a very beat down trail uh, with some fresh buck crap that I found three weeks ago. I hung a camera there and I had 25 or 22 pictures. Um, so I'm hoping maybe I didn't get a lot of pictures, but maybe it was Mr. Big. You never know, but we're walking out now. Beautiful timber in here. I love hunting these Georgia mountain deer on the backside of Lookout Mountain in Georgia. Um, always been some pretty good deer up here. I'm excited to hunt it since I ain't hunted up here in so long, but hopefully kill a few. Yeah, it's an old uh, old ladder stand. You you had to a bear actually got in that tree or in that stand tore it up. So I got three more cameras at the truck and that are my dad's i don't know if i'm going to hang them yet or what he wants to do with them but but we'll find out season opens next weekend all right we're checking the cameras this is the one that had 538 photos from the first spot we went to this one looks like it has a really nice guy he's messed up rack type deer golly bum look at this buck messed up rack type deer sorry for the glare can't really help it. But this one had five. Oh, little Fonzie. Some does eating. God! That's a monster. It's a little blurry on the horns. That is an absolute man at 5.30. Well, don't worry about the time and date. That's messed up on this camera. But that's a freaking monster. Hey, Matt, you shoot him? All day long. <laughs> That's a monster, dude. Monster. There he is again. Crab clawed, both side. Crab clawed on both side. Down up on this farm, on top of the mountain, we get a bunch of those deer got crab claws. Gah! We're like ten photos in. That's a different buck. Different buck. There's a different buck. That looks like a big six point. Some does. Well, I'm going to go through these photos and see what I got, but that, we're like 10 photos in. There's 538, and we've got two shooters. <laughs> I think I'd kill them, too. Them are two absolute giants. I think I'd kill them. North Georgia, dear. I've got 
deer, some young deer, some good up and comers. Look at that. It's gonna be a hammer. Bachelor group. Some young bucks. Should be a fun opening weekend next weekend. Hopefully one of them comes in that's a mature buck. Now we're on the other side of the farm trying to get to Matt's camera and we're doing some clearing on these roadways, on these old logging roads we drive down, but we've had some, like I said, we ain't hunted up here in three years, so gotta do a little bit of farm work. This is usually where they come down at, kind of. There's a trail. pretty woods out here I know the logging road there's the stand see the stand logging road right there we're gonna put it find a tree right up here and put it in it there's a little trail right there a little trail that runs up through here I'm trying to find a good tree to climb and oh, he's got plenty of them. yeah there's plenty of them Which one are you thinking? Ooh. That's why I'm any one of those I like that white oak. You see that white oak right there? Yep. Comes up. Go that way and you kill me. I'm gonna look at that white oak. Look at the trail. I didn't look how good this trail looks. That white oak looks pretty good. I could climb. It's a little old, but some good trails right here. That pine too, if you wanted to. I think that's a better tree. I do too. We could pour the corn right off their trail. Pour it right here. Yeah, pour it. That'd be a good shot. So we pour it right here. And the acorns look like they're freshly dropping. And that trail runs right there. It looks like a good spot, don't it? Right here. You ain't got to tell me where. Am I close to any of his cameras? That's what I wanted to know. <laughs> that's, that's, that means okay, good. Not near any of his spots. This is gonna be more does. See how open this is? Oh yeah. She can shoot them all day long. Hell yeah, I don't know. You ain't got those bright eyes on you, do you? Cause I'm gonna mark that tree. Well, hold on just here until I get this camera hung and then we'll mark it. So I guess just turn it on and... Yep. turn it on. That's, I guess, ready. He said it's ready. This one's videoed. This one's on videos. Walk that trail down. I'm gonna walk that trail out and see where it comes out. Right here. Oh, yeah, there's another trail right here. Is this the deer trail? Right 
Right here's the trail. Are you on a deer trail too? Mm -hmm. Are you on a deer trail? Yeah. See, I am too. This is the tree I picked right here. There's some fresh doe shit right here. Really? That's awesome. I'm trying to figure out which tree. Oh, look at this pile. Look at this pile. Fresh, fresh. Oh, which tree you think's best? That's that tree, that's that tree I marked right here. I think this tree right here would be a jam up tree. Hey, where'd the camera go? Oh, there's the camera. I get this tree right here I think would be a good tree. Think right here. Go get those bright eyes. And... Now, finally, to Matt's uh, camera. Have, haven't made the keep going straight. I'll tell you. Now to Matt's camera. I've got. I've got. I just put. I checked two of mine. Moved one of them. And I just hung a third camera in a spot uh, and found a tree. I think would be pretty good. And we found some two really good trails and some fresh deer poop. So now we're gonna go check Matt's spot. See what's up with that. All right, I'm gonna let you find it. Some of these trees. <laughs> this is only Matt's second time being up the farm, so he's still discombobulated of where we're at. <laughs> exactly. Look for the feeder. It's an old feeder laid down. You're just, hey, you're to the left a little bit. See the old feeder? Huh? Fresh poop? That's the good stuff. That's what I'm talking about, Mason. I see it. There's that trail. Find your camera. <laughs> <laughs> Good trail comes right through there. You might have a few photos. Just a little bag of feed. We only put a 10 pound bag there. But that's what I had on them on the hill where I got all them bucks too. Refreshing it up. Camera got a new SD card in it. Matt says he's gonna climb that oak right there and booger one right there. Right just right in the goods, right in the boiler maker. And, and it's gonna be a raid in the cage. Hey, remember, you've got this road, this is the four wheel trail we used to come up in here and to so we didn't have to walk to fill the feeder. So you can walk right to it. So go get them bright eyes and we can mark it. Yeah. Hopefully we gig gig us one next weekend. It's still hot, hot. So expectations are not too high. If we see deer, it's very positive. Well, we're leaving the farm. Um, no, all non-shooters. Dad says the bucks in my trail cams aren't shooters should be passed up and there's like I think there's two shooters on there, but okay. Matt's camera is he's Matt's in doe zone. He's got about he's got one doe that's living at his camera, and then he's got a in one photo we had six different does in in the photo. So Matt's You're in doe alley. Matt yeah Matt's in doe alley, but we're leaving the farm, and we had a lot of trail cam pictures. Matt had 519 on one. I had 538 on one, and those were on 10 pound bags of little crushed up stuff we bought. And so we put out 40 pound bags of corn now. And I, I didn't expect to get all those bucks on camera. Where I put that spot out is I've killed three does out of that tree with my bow before, but I'd never seen bucks like that out there. But we haven't hunted in three years, so there's no pressure. So very exciting. 
um, we'll be up here hunting next weekend.